My name is Rodolon Femi, the founder and convener of Syrian Elytrop Concepts and also Arise for Girls initiative. Today is menstrual, World Menstrual Hygiene Day. Every 28th of May, every year, all over the world, we celebrate World Menstrual Hygiene Day to campaign for menstrual hygiene, normalizing it, then talking about this, um, the challenges and the stigmatization girls and women are facing all over the world and what can be done to improve the menstrual health and hygiene, hygiene of women and girls. That is the reason Arise for Girls initiative was conceived by Serena Elytrop Concepts two years ago. And today we are talking about our Pad A Girl program. Our Pad A Girl program was conceived last year and the reason it was conceived was because a report came out that the COVID-19 has actually increased the number of girls who are out of schools because whenever they are doing their period, I mean their menstruation, whenever they are menstruating because they can no longer attend schools when they are on their period because number one, they no longer have the money to afford sanitary products. Then number two, sanitary products is now at a high cost in Nigeria. Hi, my name is Virtuous Linda Itwa Enesa Hunun, the founder of the Virtuous Women Initiative. The Virtuous Women Initiative is an NGO that teaches women how to be virtuous in life, how to be successful, how to make a good impact in the society wherever they find themselves, and also to be a good wife to their husband and the community. So I'm here to talk about menstrual hygiene to mark the world menstrual hygiene day coming up May 28, 2022. What is menstrual hygiene? Menstrual hygiene is all about how you take good care of yourself when you're seeing your period as a woman. How often do you change your pad? How often do you wash your toilet, your panties? How do you dispose your pads that you are used already? And also, this is also a way of advocating to you that you should be proud that you are a woman because seeing your period is an initiation to the womanhood. So if you are one of them that has seen their period, be proud. We are here to break the taboos of menstruation. We hear that people are working and they will tell them to stay at home because they are having menstrual cramp. But thank God for this advocacy day. But I'm here to tell you that as a woman, you can do better. You can give a girl a pad wherever you find yourself. Thank you very much. Pad again. In Nigeria, it is difficult for most girls and women to afford sanitary products. And as a result of this, a lot of girls were forced to even sleep with men to get money to buy sanitary pads. And as a result, some of them ended up becoming impregnated. So we have a lot of teenage pregnancies. And because of this, all of the most girls were dropping out of schools. And a lot of things has been happening. Then we launched our Pad A Girl program project last year. We launched it last year and about 300 girls benefited from the program. We visited them, we taught them about what menstrual hygiene is and how to find help, how to take care of themselves when they are on their period. But what matters most is that the campaign was conceived to use it to call the attention the federal government, that's the Nigerian government, to the plight of our women, to make sanitary pads available for girls and our women in Nigeria, just like we have in South Africa and other countries in the world. We have in Canada also, I guess, so that women will not find it difficult or will not be using other means to support themselves when they are on their menstruation. So that is the reason we launched this Pad A Girl program. Ever since we've started, people have been supporting us, though individuals have been supporting us. We've not been able to attain a higher level of grants and support from bigger companies, but I appreciate our supporters, individuals, who has been stretching a hand of love to us. the empowerment and well-being of all women and girls worldwide. It's more than just having access or our access to sanitary pads and toilets for women. Of course, sanitary pads and toilets are key products. But it's also about ensuring women and girls 
leave in an hygienic environment which value and supports their abilities to manage their administration with dignity. And we at NO8 Entertainment, in conjunction with Seven Top Concert, are bringing this awareness to our secondary school girls in Open State and in order to teach them, to sensitize them on how to take care of their body and maintain proper menstrual hygiene. And in view of that, we'll be giving out free sanitary pads to over 1,700 female students in Open State. And this is being done with the help of individuals and uh, donation. And this End Poverty Road program is creating awareness to the government that they need to come into our aid and take over by providing free scientific pass to females in this country. Thank you.